Hello there. I'm going to do a read for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be about you and your person, Taurus. We're going to do each side of the story. Thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate you guys being here, sending you lots of love. We're going to call on your higher self, spirit guides, for a clear guided message for Taurus and their person. If you'd like a personal read, my information is down below in the description box. We have past life relationship going on here. You have known each other before, as well as heart-to-heart -heart conversations and religious factor, getting to know each other. Getting to know each other, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This might be somebody you meet in your spiritual groups or church or, you know, anything. You guys might have either a common... Um, spiritual path, um, thus like similar soul resonance actually. I think you're gonna be getting to know this person. If it's an old person, it's definitely like relinking or getting to know each other on a deeper level, you know? Um, it feels new to me, Taurus, but take it as it resonates. And again, like check other placements if this isn't your reading. Um, not for everyone take the story that resonates or take the little pieces that resonate too you know because this, this is a collective reading and we're going to check out like how do you feel about them how does Taurus feel about that person okay I'm going to take that one. Oh, this is maybe somebody you work with with the three of pentacles or somebody that's really easy to work with somebody that would be a team player um, their feelings for you, they want to move towards you. Um, they might be at a crossroads right now, making a decision, leaving one thing, moving to another. But they're definitely looking right at you, like you're their world at this point, or they see the world in you, okay? They might even see you as um, coming out of some kind of anguish or backstabbing. So you might be healing, or they see you as somebody who's been healing or... Something like that. Let's see. See, now you're with the Ace of Wands in reverse. You're not quite sure if this is something. If there is a spark there, you're kind of questioning. Like, maybe you work with this person. Um, maybe you've been through it in the past. And so it's kind of hard to, like, maybe see if this person's, like, your person. Huh. You're just not sure if they have that spark for you. Um, you might be letting go of abandonment or a past relationship for some of you. Okay, yeah. Something that is hard to let go of. Let's see. The tower in reverse is kind of something that's hard to let go of to me. Okay, king of swords in reverse. Okay, this person's having a hard time communicating their feelings to you. So whether this is a new person coming in or a past person, this might be a past person that you're having a hard time letting go of. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting energy, Taurus. Let's see. Outcome for you. What are you going to do? Oh, Hierophant. That's your own energy. Anxiety. Hmm. If this is a new person, this is somebody who's afraid to come towards you or to really open up and talk to you. You have really good intentions with the Hierophant. You know, it seems like you're really devoted, devoted to, devoted to God at least. If, if this is an old person, it looks like there's a breakup and they have a lot of anxiety, a possible divorce or something like that. Let's get some clarifications. Actually, what does this person want to say to you? Time to go separate ways. It's not you, it's me. All right. See, I feel like it's a past person now. Hmm, interesting. Give them time to celebrate. What, what do you want to say? What does Taurus want to say? What does Taurus want to say about this person? They make you, this person makes you feel insecure. I'm getting for some of you, you're leaving a relationship. You went your separate ways and you're, 
maybe this happened way in the past it's causing this person a lot of anxiety they do want to come into union with you because they know it's like their issue it's their problem but it has caused a lot of insecurity and you've had to do a lot of releasing and i think you've really struggled with it um if this is a past person you've really needed your space from them you know to get your groove back and with the hair fit you're ready for something devoted like if this person wants to come back and reconcile with you because they feel spiritually aligned to you i mean this could very well just be like a past like relationship where there's a strong energetic connection you know um it's like you're going to be devoted to you. You're going to be devoted to God. You're going to allow what... Because you're kind of healing from this. Um, you're not going to allow this person to like bring you into this place of negative toxic behaviors, bring in insecurities, you know, making you feel limited or stuck. You know, you've done a lot of releasing when it comes to this person. So if they come back in, they've got to come back in right. I mean, I, I want to say that they want to come back in. They want to look towards you. This person can be manipulative manipulative, or they just have a hard time communicating correctly. This person does not communicate well. If, it is, um, if it's a new person, you're releasing an old person and there is a new person coming in. All right. Um, hmm. It could be either one. I'm, I'm kind of getting split with this. If this is a past person that this person was... I don't like their energy. They made you insecure. I think that, you know, they could be gaslighting, you know, manipulative energy, a bit of narcissistic traits, things like that. So if that's your experience with them, they have a lot of anxiety right now. Most people that have those kinds of traits usually do have a lot of anxiety and then they project it out and then make you the target of what they're feeling about themselves within, right? So that could be the factor here. Um, and I see new love coming in for you or this person wanting to reconcile with you, okay? Um, if it's a new person or if this is a person you work with, old or new, I think it's... Hmm, somebody you work with or if it's a new person, it's somebody that's really going to be a lot better energy. A lot better energy with the three of pentacles, you getting over things, and the hair fin. A lot of more devotion. Okay. See, because I you feel like you feel like there is an, an 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 inspiration, a breakthrough, an attraction. Usually the ace of wands is something new. It could be a reignition of a connection. Okay. See, I'm getting it's so weird. On your side, I feel like you're manifesting a better energy than what is on this side. And then I'm getting little hints of a new energy because it's like, I feel like the old energy or what you're used to in relationship is somebody who is just like, uh, like kind of rebellious when it comes to relationships. You know, it's their way or the highway. They use their will over faith. They don't see that if this is a past life connection with a person who's been kind of abusive, um, you know, unconsciously or consciously, like, what was I going to say about that? They don't have faith. Like, they don't have faith. They don't see the connection, the soulmate connection. They just are in their mind too much to feel the energies of their soul, you know? Um, yeah, you've been getting over hopelessness, boredom, and being uninspired. Like, this knocked your groove out of the water, this old relationship. You know, it felt really unhealthy to you. Um... And they kind of know it. This person sees that they did this to you. All right. So um, this person might work eight of coins. This person might, you see them as someone who works really, really, really hard. So this could be like a hard worker, somebody who has their own business, somebody who really focuses on the pentacles, focuses on the money. All right. This is a person that, you feel like this person fails when it comes to their heart, fails when it comes to their soul, fails when it comes to their ability to think beyond their mind, think beyond their own personal will, think beyond the pentacles, think beyond things that are not in it, not eternal, you know, temporal, you know, temporal or temporary. Um, 
and you just don't feel like there, there would be any kind of success with this person, even though it's kind of hard to let them go because I think they did a number on you. Honestly, this energy looks really, you know, emotionally abusive. I mean, it's brought in insecurity. It's been toxic. And, you know, it probably presented you of your own shadows. You know, it's been a mirror of things that are within you. And so that has come up to be released, right? And therefore you're in this devoted energy to God. Four of Wands. See, this is marriage or this is moving in together or this is a celebra celebration or unification. So if this is like a twin flame or, or you know, that kind of <laughs> relationship, um, it's, like a, it's like a bad word around here, it seems, but... You know, however you perceive it, um, a divine connection. I like that better, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, they're going to come in to reconcile. They're going to come in to reconcile. They feel bad. They feel anxiety. They feel the things that they did to you, and they are aware, and they're going to come back and reconcile with you. Okay? If that's the old person. If it is a new person, this is your person. If there's a new person coming in, this is your person. Okay? Your reward from putting up with the shit and devoting yourself to God. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to make things right or this is something that spirit wants to make right for you, okay? So either way, you're getting you're getting a devoted harmonious union or connection with someone this could be the past person even, you know, that that divine connection, they realize their wrongs. And they want to come in and make things right. So this is getting to know each other. This is like um, them realizing the alignment, going into their heart, realizing who you are, what you are to them. And um, if it's a new person, this is spirit giving you your justice, so to speak, you know, bringing you what you deserve, bringing you what is yours. So that's really amazing. do these cards here reconsider see it kind of looks like that old energy you know that asking you to reconsider reconsider forgive um they're gonna ask you to reconsider give them another chance um that it will improve spirit saying this will improve so this is the old person this this will improve okay and romance. So romance is coming back into your life in perfect timing. Um, and this is for either either situation. I mean, a lot of you guys would know. Um, yeah, this is really, this is really nice. This is, this is like, for some of you, the union might already start. They might have already come back, back in. Okay, because you feel like this is a new start, a breakthrough, they're moving towards you. Um, you know, they might not be coming, if it's the old person, or even the new person, they're not coming in with a lot of passion right away. And I don't feel like this person's the best in the whole world at communicating. And you're really looking for the heart to heart, you know? And it's like almost like you have to get to know this person over again as they move more into their heart space and move out of their personal will, so to speak, which seems more, um, you know, honestly, like in the, like the way they were and the way this relationship was, they just really looked out for themselves. Okay. And it just threw you off. It made you feel, and may, they might've even been negative or projected negativity onto you and they're changing and it's new for them. They want to make it right. It's given them a ton of anxiety and they, you know, they want to make it right. They, I'm not going to say that they're amazing at communicating because it doesn't look like they're like good at it, but they want to try, you know, and they're going to be communicating from their heart. It looks like, or they're going to try, you know, and it's going to improve. If it's the new person, it's just the situation is just going to be really smooth. Longing for home. Yeah, this person's very homesick for you. Um, yeah, and you guys might be spending some time in nature or you might be just doing. This is someone who's going, if this is the old person, they have seen their shadow. They have seen where they have gone wrong. 
and I see that they're really regretful. They want to make things right with you. They want to be protective, loyal, and trustworthy. And I see the more you move into this beautiful like energy of celebration and unity and community, um, and devotion to yourself, to God, and your own energy, your own power with the Hierophant, I really see that whatever's coming in for you is very solid. If this is a new energy, this is a soulmate that's just missed your energy, so to speak, in this lifetime, so to speak. Um, if it's the old person, they have spent some time, they slowed down. Um, they slowed down. You know, for some of you, they might have gone through like a little bit of a dark night, even. And slowing them down. Okay, this could be a Leo. Fellow Earth sign, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus. And this, or a Capricorn again, so heavy Capricorn. And um, this card wanted to show up on the bottom of the deck, the Scorpio I transform, which is just like, this is a transformation, okay? So this is a transformation in your life, if it's a new person. And this is a transformation for this person that wants to bring in an uh, element of, of fire, love, learning, children, creativity, stability. Um, they have Saturn return. They've gone through um, a big life change. And they want to come in and make things right with you. That's what I'm getting. All right, Spirit, any advice for Taurus when it comes to this time in their life, when it comes to this relationship? Any advice for Taurus for their person? This is a really good read. Union. This is Union, Taurus, like all the way. The minute I heard my first love story, I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They're in each other all along. For a lot of you, this is the old person really coming around. It's reconciliation. Um, for others of you, if it's a new person, this is your soulmate. This is the one. And I, 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 if it is the new person, I think you know them. Destiny, Chariot, this person's coming towards you. Um, your heart knows the way. Run in that direction. And you know the way too. You're gonna know. You're gonna know it's your destiny. Oh, that's so sweet, Taurus. That's so great. Yeah, they're coming out of, and you're coming out of like apathy and kind of just being sick of love or giving up or, you know, missed opportunity kind of thing. Like the opportunity is coming back around again for love, for union, for your destiny. This person whether it looks like it or not. I think the only thing that would confuse you if it's the old person, how they come back in, is they still don't, they know they don't communicate that well. And they have anxiety about like what to say, how to say it. Um, but yeah, for a lot of you, you're in that category of like, you know, divine relationship. Either way, like this is a divine relationship. This is a beautiful relationship. So I'm really, that's really good, Taurus. I hope you liked it. Let me know if this resonates with you guys. Um, and if you'd like a personal read, my information is down below. I'm sending you lots of love. Take care, Taurus.